Previously on Family Jury. Last month on 17th of July to be precise, you drove that and drove to your church against a witch. I beg your pardon. You always think your husband is acting under the influence of his parents. But that is it. They never liked me from the first day I married Lucky. I did it because uh, I was meant to take the children to church. And I got back home and discovered she had taken the children to, to mosque against my wish. That's, we are trying to tell me she has no right to take them to the mosque. I am the man of the house and I believe that my orders should be respected. I wonder if you've thought of the negative effect these divorce moves you've taken will have on your children. Do you think those innocent children will forgive you when they grow up to realize you instigated your separation with your father? This is Family Jury. My Lord, I want my client, Mrs. Zena Bonwachko, to give this honorable court a brief testimony on what she has gone through in the hands of her husband and in-laws due to the religious, tribal and cultural issue. Before I say anything, I want this honorable court to know that I love my husband, but I can never give up my religion for anything because I am a true Muslim. I'm an Aousa by tribe and a Muslim by religion. My husband is Igbo by tribe and a Christian by religion. We knew all this and agreed on our relationship before we got married. My husband promised me that he would never interfere with my belief. And that was the reason I agreed to wed in the church. All of a sudden, the story changed. My husband started complaining about my mode of dressing and the way I pray. To worsen the matter, he bought me a set of clothes that would reveal the vital organs of my body, but I rejected it. Lucky has beaten me up on several occasions. He even tore my veil. He even forced me to observe the Christmas and Easter without observing my own. He sees everything that I have concerning the Muslim tradition in the house. To worsen the matter, his mother started interfering in our marriage. She openly told me to quit either my religion or the marriage. She was even the one that encouraged my husband the day he forced me to the church and seized my Quran. She insisted that she will make my marriage unbearable for me if I don't submit to my husband. My Lord, should I be turned to a slave in my marriage? Don't I have my own religion? Is it not better for me to quit this marriage and move on with my life instead of this humiliation in this marriage? There is no doubt I love my husband, but I will never give up my religion for anything. This is Family Jury. Mrs. Zainab, you have on several occasions mentioned in this court that you, have, you value your marriage. Yes, I have said so, and I truly do. And on several occasions, you also mentioned in this court that you wish to quit your marriage and move on with your life. And again, you said you still love your husband. Yes. Mrs. Zainab, don't you think your comments are contradictory? Or do I say you're confused? There's no contradiction in every comment I have made. And I am not confused. The fact that I love my husband and I still value my marriage is not enough reason for me to leave my religion. If my husband asked the interest of me and my children in his heart, he would not have discouraged me of my religion because he knows I would totally not agree to it. What about you? Do you really have the interest of your marriage and your children at heart? If you do, you would not have filed for a divorce. My Lord, I plead you give my client an opportunity to disclose his own experience on this issue. Let him proceed, but I want him to be brief about it. Thank you, my Lord.
in my widest dream. I would never believe Zainab would take this type of action upon all the understanding we've had about this religion and tribal issues. We are born of different tribes, but we agreed never to allow these religion issues ruin our future. My wife was a bit loose on her religion at the early stage of our marriage. We waited in church, and she even agreed to become a Christian, though she said it would take a gradual process. Suddenly, she became so attached to her religion that all she does is sit around the house praying. At every minute of the day, she's either on her prayer mats or counting her test bill. The worst of it all, my children no longer read their books. All they do is read Quran or go to mosque. And when I complained, my wife, my wife said I, I discouraged her children from her religion. A lot, I can say here, happened. But I will still advise my wife never to allow these religious and tribal issues destroy our marriage. Thank you, my Lord. This is Family Jury. Children are the leaders of tomorrow. Don't kill the future of our youths. Broken homes can cause broken future. Avoid divorce. Brought to you by Family Jury. Mr. and Mrs. Wachuku, I want to ask both of you a question. Mr. Lucky Wachuku, yes, are your parents alive? Yes, my lord. What do you do for a living? I am a businessman, my lord. Are you a graduate? Yes, my lord. Who paid your school fees? Who saw you through the school? My parents. Are your parents divorced? No, my lord. They are living together as husband and wife till date? Yes, my lord. Mr. Lucky Wachuku, I want to ask you a question. Do you think that you would have been successful today if your parents had divorced when you were a child? Mr. Lucky, please answer my question. I don't think so, my lord. Then why do you want to ruin the future of your children because of tribe and religion? Mrs. Zena, I want you to I guess your parents are still alive and together as husband and wife? You are correct, my lord. I feel so ashamed when parents file in for divorce, especially mothers. Do you think you alone can give those kids the future that they deserve? In your childhood days, Mrs. Zena, did you not see your parents quarrel and argue? I saw them quarrel on several occasions. So why do you think they have sustained their marriage to this stage? Marriage is love, patience, and understanding. If your parents had been divorced when you were a child, I don't think you would have had the opportunity to even get married, let alone filing for a divorce. Mr. and Mrs. Wachuku, this is your last opportunity to go into that reconciliation room, sit like husband and wife, and say, we don't want this divorce. My religion shouldn't be a factor in your marriage, because all religion advocates love marriage. So show this religion and tribal sentiments and secure the future of your kids. Do you understand me? Please take them to the reconciliation room. This is Family Jury. Zeno, where did you get these gods? What gods? The gods to sue me for divorce. I got it from you. You gave me the gods to file you for divorce. Zeno, why are you always concerned about your religion? I mean, have you thought of what will become of our children if we part ways? Are you trying to take the heart rate the church says? I am happy you took the heart rate the church says. There's one thing I want you to know, that I will not leave my religion. Zainab, you always forget something here. You always forget that I am your husband. Allah wakba. I thank God you said you are my husband, not my creator. And I also want you to know that I am your wife, not a slave. Have you ever thought of considering my action 
Have you ever thought considering what I want and how I feel? and think of how we can move our marriage forward. Our marriage? The same marriage my mother-in-law promised that she's going to make unbearable for me to live in? Leave your mother-in-law out of this. You and I know why she made the statement. Honey, please. We need to reconsider this issue because that is the focus of the reconciliation. <sighs> now, what do you want me to do for us to move forward? You know what I want. Yeah, I know what you want. But if I agree with your conditions, will you drop the, 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 the divorce application? Why not? But you know that this is the same thing that can keep bringing us into this consideration. Can we go back to the court hall now? Honey, are you okay? Yes, I am. Shall we? Go out, This is Family Jury. Children are the leaders of tomorrow. Don't kill the future of our youths. Broken homes can cause broken future. Avoid divorce. Brought to you by Family Jury. Like I said before, divorce is not the only solution to domestic problems. Reconciliation still remains the solution. Our sole aim in this court is to restore homes. So, Mrs. Zena Abachuku, I'll start with you since you're the petitioner. Yes, madam. What decision have you made? I have told my husband that I want to go on with this marriage, but he should allow me to go on with my religion. And he should also allow me to take my children with me to the mosque. And he should also not force his culture on me, because some of his culture are forbidden where I come from. And what did he say? He accepted. But from the look of his face, it's confusing. Maybe he has something to say. Mr. Lock, you want to go? Have you heard what your wife said? Yes, my lord. Let's hear from you. I love my wife and children. I want to go on with my marriage. I never filed for a divorce. She did. So what was your final agreement with your wife in the reconciliation room? Let her go on with whatever that pleases her. Go on with her religion. Take my children to mosque. Disregard my tradition and my mother. Anything that pleases her is okay. I want to go on with my marriage. Mr. Locke Wanchiko, are you sure that this is what you want? Well, that is what she wants. I don't have any choice. Mr. Lucky, you don't sound happy. I don't sound happy because the only person I expected to make me happy is the one who has ended up making me sad. Christians preach God, so as Muslim religion. They may have different doctrines, but they always pass the same messages. But my wife has a different conception on the two religions. Almost everything I do in the house is abominable once it is attached with my religion and culture. Now, she wants a divorce because of my culture and religion, but I don't want it. Mr. Loki, I understand how you feel, but I must let you know that whatsoever decision you have made with your wife should be willing. What I mean is, if you have settled for a divorce. Let it be from your heart. And if both of you have decided to shun this divorce, then let it be from your heart. From what I have observed, it's obvious you're not happy with the decisions that you made. 
I will be very happy to see both of you resolve this matter and go home as husband and wife. I mean, both of you should show example to the rest of the world that religion and tribe shouldn't be a bar barrier in marriage. My lord, I know my husband very well, and I know he's not happy about this decision. Like I said before, I can never give up my religion, and I can never give up my marriage as well. Honey, please, you married me as a Muslim, and you never complain about it. Please, allow me to go on with it. I don't want to be a Christian. As for our children, you can take them to church every Sunday, whenever you want. But please, when they're of age, let them make the decision of the religion they want. I'm sorry for ever criticizing your religion and your culture. I did it because of the sudden hatred you have for me. I will never do it again. Baby, please, allow me to follow my heart. I don't want to be a Christian. I arrived. This is Family Jew. Emmanuel Frederick Production. Marriage is God's arrangement. Protect it. Do not destroy it.